Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this is about smartphones. Can you talk and browse at the same time? There are lots of factors. Who your carrier is, exactly what model of phone you have, and whether you're in a 3G or 4G. What we're going to show you is with our two phones. I have an original Droid 1 that is 3G only, and Jim has a Droid Razor that is 4G. So let me show you what we're talking about. I'm going to call Jim. Say hello again. Hello. Hello. Again. Yeah. How's everybody doing? It's so good to see you again. Yeah. Okay. So, let's say, you want to go to a movie, Jim? Hey, that sounds, that sounds like a good, good idea. idea. Let's play well, let me see if I can browse the internet and take a look. So I just touch the home button and then I touch my browser and it comes up to whatever the last screen was, but now I want to search for movie times. Now, I, I should have pointed out to you, if we had looked in the beginning, this would have said 3G. This is an original Android One phone on Verizon, and it is only capable of connecting to 3G. So even though we have 4G service right here where we're at in Orlando, Florida, I am connected at 3G. And notice how long it's taken to even try. But let's see. Jim, you still there? I'm still here. All right, so we are at least attempting to browse the web, and the phone call is still active. It now has said, web page not available. And that is because I do not have the ability to browse the web. So now, how do I, how do I hang up? I'm going to say goodbye, Jim. Goodbye. So I have to... It's showing me up in the notification area that I have a call. That's the green phone. So I can drag that notification area down, touch current call, and now I can hang up. Okay. Now, this is my phone. This is the Motorola Droid Razor on the Verizon service. And I'm going to call Chris. And right there. Okay. Notice that I have 4G service up there with a couple of bars. And I'm calling Chris. Let me turn the speaker on. Okay, so Chris has answered the phone. I am on, let's see, still 4G. Now, if I want to browse, let's go. I want to go see a movie. You want to go see a movie, so let's go to the browser. And what, movie times? Uh, like that. Just Google for movies. Movies, search the web. Okay. And notice that it just came right up. There's Fandango. There's a bunch of movies for Claremont, which is where we happen to be. So let me check that out. I don't want anything with all sorts of guns and murder and all that. I want a nice movie. Uh, Three Stooges is a little bit too violent for you. <laughs> so... Let's... Yeah, okay. So we'll check out the Three Stooges. Okay. So you are hearing me on the phone. I'm hearing you, you on the phone. And I am browsing the web. Absolutely no question about it. Okay. So let me hang up. And to do that on this phone, there's, there's the current call. Hanging up. Okay. Our demo showed you a 3G phone that could not browse and talk at the same thing and a 4G phone that could. But there are exceptions. The iPhone, which is 3G, on the AT&T network can talk and browse, and that's because of the AT&T network's technology. The HTC Thunderbolt, which is a 3G phone on Verizon, can talk and browse because of the phone. It actually has two radios inside the phone. And with any smartphone, if you're using Wi-Fi, 
for data, then you can talk and browse at the same time. So, and everything might change tomorrow. So try it and see. There's lots more to learn at geeksontour.tv for tutorial videos.